Spoilers are going to be discussed from the off, so remember, you've been warned. The ending of the most recent episode of Succession, episode 5, saw a conclusion be drawn that we definitely didn't expect only a matter of minutes before it occurred. We saw Shiv get off the phone to Matson and send a photo of Kendall and Roman's faces to him so he'd be able to gauge their reactions to his tactic that looks set to cause a lot of trouble for them, due to them not wanting to sell. But why was she smiling? Does she have something planned? I definitely think so. So with that, I thought I'd break down and explain what I think that final scene means and why it holds such importance. So let's get into it. Here is how Succession Season 4 Episode 5 showed Shiv's intentions. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Shiv's involvement in Season 4 of the show has been something that's definitely taken a step back since Episode 3 of the show when we found out that Logan Roy had died. With Kendall and Roman taking over as CEO of Waystar, it does make sense as to why. She's not involved in the high-level conversations anymore, and we've gradually seen her get pushed to the side due to her mindset being completely different to the one that Kendall has and the agenda and route that he wants to go down. However, right at the end of the episode, we saw that she had a smirk on her face, as if to say that there was something that was cooking inside of her mind. Something that looks as though it's come out of the blue, when in reality, it's something that's been on the cards and was on the cards for the entirety of the episode, due to the lack of confidence that she felt was there with her brothers. So what were the different behaviours that we saw in Shiv in the episode? After re-watching the episode, I actually noticed a few slight changes in the character from her first appearance right up until the last, even in the way that she was treated. It started with her not being involved in the meeting with the board, and asking if she missed the invite, to which she didn't, she just wasn't invited. She was also not invited to meet with Matson when the first round of negotiations were being discussed. Only Kendall and Roman were, which meant that she had to walk away. Then, when they were at the retreat after the initial discussion, we saw her have a clash in opinions over whether or not to keep ATN. She was prepared to get rid of it and throw it in with the deal. However, Kendall and Roman had slightly different views. They wanted to keep a hold of it due to it being their father's project that he spent a lot of his life working on. There was then another shot of Shiv sitting further away from the brothers when they were sitting at the table discussing the offer with Madsen. She sat significantly further back and the way that the shot was done, it applied that she almost wasn't a part of the table. She uttered a line where she said, is everything okay? This could have meant that she didn't hear what was going on or she could have just wanted to de-escalate the situation. During this conversation, Matson spoke a line when he was speaking with the brothers, and he spoke about ATN in saying that news for angry old people doesn't work. The camera cut to Shiv, and her facial expression almost implied that she agreed with him. As we know, she was happy to throw it into the deal and be rid of it. There was another moment where Shiv was excluded in the episode where we saw that she was lied to by her brothers about the stories that were being leaked to the press about the frosty atmosphere that was going on at the retreat, when it seemed as though she knew that her brothers were up to something. One of the main differences that we saw in Shiv was the amount of time that she spent with Matson when they were on their own during the evening. I believe there are two different ways that this conversation can be interpreted, but I'll come to that in the next section. The following morning, Roman was aware of the evening that she'd spent with Lucas, as he mentioned it in conversation, and Tom also mentioned it to her as well, showing that it spread around fast that they were spending time together. Then obviously, one of the main things that we saw was that she picked up the phone to Lucas in a sneakily way, and then she proceeded to send him a photo of her brother's faces whilst she was smiling to herself and then looked in the opposite direction. There were so many different things that Shiv did in this episode, even subtle looks that only on a rewatch do you pick up and notice a little more, especially after knowing how the episode finished, showing that her and her brothers do most definitely have different opinions on what to do. So, why was the conversation with Madsen so important? Well, I believe there are two different reasons as to why the conversation was so important in this episode. The first is that it allowed Shiv to show Madsen how valuable she was. He told her a crazy story about how he was sending lots of blood to his comm specialist, Ebba, and Shiv didn't judge nor tell her brothers about what was going on, something that they could have used to their advantage if the story were to be leaked. She chose not to tell them. In fact, she instead said that she'd be able to help him. She also mentioned that Jerry would be able to give some advice and also that Carolina was good at her job too, thus solidifying the kill list that the main topic of the episode was about. 
As we saw, Carolina and Jerry were not on the kill list when it was sent through right at the end of the episode. Shiv was the jury and executioner in this instance, and she loved the fact that she was able to do that. She also would have saved Tom in this situation as well. Hence why everybody was so surprised that he wasn't facing the cut. It also showed the opposite to what was said to him in the previous episode by Carl, when he said that he had nobody in his corner rooting for him. I believe this also showed that Matson saw somebody who he was able to get on his side from the inside. We must remember, in this situation, Lucas is the closest thing to Logan Roy. None of Logan's children are as close to him in terms of mirroring the personality and the harsh, brutal mentality. It's Lucas out of the four of them. So I feel as though Madsen could be playing the long game here and leaning into Shiv in order to have somebody on the inside reporting back to him. But the main question is, why the sudden personality change? I think this is because she doesn't wholly trust the brothers and what they're going to do. It's clear that there's a difference in views and opinions between them all, and I think she fears that they're going to blow it all. As we saw her mention, she stated that the market only stabilized due to the fact that the public knew that they were selling the company to Matson, not because the brothers were at the head of the ship and leading it. She seems to share more opinions on the future of Waystar and ATN with Lucas than she does with her brothers, and with them constantly leaving her out of the high-level discussions and decisions, she wants to make sure that she has both options covered, so she's now going behind their backs in order to secure her safety regardless of what decisions get made. She's been getting left out, so it's not like she's doing anything wrong. We heard her say that she wants to make some moves at ATN when she was speaking with Tom, meaning that she could be looking to lean into the no more news for angry old people like Matson mentioned earlier. Matson has pushed the brothers to their limit. He knew that they didn't want to sell and was annoyed at the disrespect that was shown to him. So now, he's put them into a situation where they're going to be hated by most of the board if they don't sell, which could in turn ruin what they've got. And Shiv knows it. The siblings are nowhere near as close as what they were in the first episode, and I believe we're heading towards extreme division being present in this final season. There's a lot of going behind each other's backs, and nobody seems to know about it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the decision will be and if Shiv will in turn be getting closer to Matson as the episodes go on. So, there you have it. How Succession Season 4 Episode 5 showed Shiv's intentions. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter at brainpilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd thank me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Do you think this moment is of great importance? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.